which has become fairly routine. So I thought I'd take you um, with me as we do all the stuff we do. It's just gone nine in the morning. I have just woken up. Um, I have gone and like put on a t-shirt and the, the trusty hat. I do look quite tired. So guys, the time is now, I think, 9.45, and so we've had breakfast, we've sort of like freshened up a bit, getting ready for the day, we are now in the attic, uh, that's the green screen, which you won't recognise, because you never see it as a green screen, you see it as the various backgrounds from the different role plays. in particular the, the Harry Potter role play. <laughs>
that would that would be useful. So um, yeah, for the next sort of uh, half an hour, we're gonna spend some time answering uh, some emails, comments on the channel, uh, checking analytics. Um, I've just edited a video, so I'm actually gonna get that uh, uploading. So see you in a bit. So guys, just a quick thing if people are interested. I've actually just finished editing this video. It's a sort of video game uh, tapping video, which uh, I assume will already be out by the time you're watching it. This video, uh, just uploading it here on the YouTube now. Uh, go away, bubble. Uh, but yeah, if you're wondering how I, um, where's my cursor? Edit the bulk of my videos, I actually use Movie Maker spikes and you can just sort of align it that way but yeah pretty cool so guys the time is for some reason my voice decides to keep breaking today the time is five past ten is it no it's six minutes past ten we are all finished up uh working for the morning um yeah it's just a, a bit of a quick sort of checking out of things uh checking out it's really hot outside, so what we're going to do, we're going to go for a walk. So I'm going to go throw some shoes on, and we're going to go get some fresh air. So guys, we are on our morning walk. If it sounds like I'm out of breath, it is because I've just walked up a pretty big hill. <laughs> so... I'm quite lucky uh, where I live, uh, as I live in the sort of English countryside in the, in the northwest. So we're surrounded by fields, like loads of farmers, big farming community. And uh, yeah, we've got access to a load of bridal paths. 
guys, it is now half 11. I've recently just got back from my walk and I decided to have a quick shower just because it is very hot and very muggy outside. So I thought, freshen up. So now I've got about sort of a spare 30, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Oh, you may recognize this is where I take the quite cringy photos for uh, thumbnails just because it's a nice gray wall. I'm gray, blended with the wall. Uh, I've got about 30, 45 minutes before uh, I typically tend to have my lunch. So what I'm going to do now is squeeze in a bit of reading. So since lockdown, I've really wanted to get back into reading. It's been like, um, I would go through like cycles of reading loads and falling out of it for like a long time. So I started setting myself these sort of page targets every day and I split them in half and I read before lunch and then just after my lunch. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm currently reading uh, Cow Newports. Uh, so good they can't ignore you. Why skills trump passion in the quest for work you love? It's absolutely really, really good book. Uh, I do recommend it. Uh, we do talk about books uh, from time to time here on the channel. Um, but yeah, I've read it before. This is my second read through of it. I think I read it about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. So I'm just um, cruising for it now. I'm gonna read. Then I'll go show you what I make for lunch. It's not particularly exciting, but I like it. So, guys, see ya. So, guys, it's uh, just a little over into the afternoon and have lunch. <laughs> uh, chicken and pasta, it's not the most exciting lunch. Um, you know, I have this um, pretty much every day. Uh, try to ignore the, the squeaky chair. Uh, I have this pretty much every day just because it develops it, the, uh, the macros and um, it's fuel. Uh, I usually have a bit more of an exciting dinner mainly because um, my cooking skills are quite poor and I'm fortunate that I'm at home at the moment so my mum is a uh, head chef. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm now just going to have some lunch, either watch a bit of YouTube, um, probably maybe a bit of ASMR, maybe a bit of ASMR with my lunch or um, I think I've got a, a Jocko Willink uh, podcast to watch. But yeah, so just going to chill. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you guys. Uh, see you guys after my lunch. Okay, so hello everybody. So we have had lunch. Um, we're now getting ready for uh, an afternoon of chilling out. Um, in a couple hours, I'm going to be filming uh, an ASMR video. So uh, we'll get to showing you how I set up for a film, how I set up for filming a video, and all that stuff. But I just wanted to do a bit of an update as we were just checking out. So some of you uh, may have seen that beekeeping video that I did a little while back uh, and a lot of you have been asking for an update on it. So if you weren't aware, uh, we keep uh, bees, we have five hives of honey bees in our garden uh, in this sort of trendy sort of apiary. So I thought I'd give a bit of an update on it. Um, so this is our main hive, we've actually just taken the load of um, honey off of uh, this hive from uh, one of the supers. This has been going for uh, a year now. Uh, we got it last year. It survived the, uh, the winter and it's a really, really good going hive. So the bottom two boxes are where the queen lays her eggs and like really manages the hive. These top two boxes are what's called honey supers and this is where the bees uh, collect their pollen and the nectar and they store it in these uh, where you get honey. So we managed to get off one box of honey so far uh, in the early sort of summer uh, draw. Uh, we got about 30 jars from like one box. It's crazy. Like 38 ounce jars. Loads of the stuff. Um, and so yeah, all these hives, uh, one, two, three, four, they're all new this year. Um, if you check out the beekeeping video, you'll uh, be able to see um, sort of getting set up for all that. But yeah, so as you can see, they're all really active and all quite loud. Um, what we've found is we're having to feed these four hives because they're quite new. Uh, they're 
not exactly super self-sufficient yet and especially because we're in June. June is what's known as a dwarf month, a dwarf month, which means there's not actually a lot of like uh, food about for them so we've learned that the hard way as unfortunately we've we clocked on that they are starving so uh, these two eyes in particular are struggling. Those two at the back are actually doing really well um, so we're feeding them just to sort of keep them going but these guys we've had to intervene and we're a bit concerned about this hive that there's no queen which is a bit of a concern so we're having to go in this afternoon and uh, give it a bit more of a, a bit more of a look at but yeah guys that's the update on the bees um, and yeah and next time you see me we'll be getting ready to film an ASMR video which will be quite exciting bubblegum whispers Chairs and not squeak uh, rendering um, video files, and then I'm just.
just going to put the audio over and get it exported and get it uploaded. Um, yeah, I, I did it edit straight after I finished filming. I actually you know, just chilled for a bit more. I had a bit of dinner. Uh, I had a pork stir fry, which was very tasty. A bit more tasty than uh, chicken pasta. So, yeah. Sorry, I keep looking over there for the camera, but the camera's here. Um, I design my um, thumbnails on Canva, because Canva is free and it's quite good. Uh, so yeah, I've literally just added a little bit of text down there. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Uh, I actually really like, really like how this thumbnail has turned out. It's uh, pretty cool, actually. So, uh, hopefully that does quite well. Maybe make the text a bit bigger. So guys, this is my streaming base template here, as you can see, um, basically there's not really much I have to update, uh, all the main information stays the same, uh, the way I made the templates, there's this background here, the wooden things, uh, the title, that image, I've got a little subscriber challenge here, uh, I think we're going to struggle to hit 70k for the first July, but hopefully when I'm told, yeah, when you're seeing this, we did it. These two white squares here are just templates for ratio wise, so I can put the uh, my face there, the webcam, and the gameplay, and I can switch it. So, all I need to do for the stream is uh, update these upcoming streams uh, dates. So, this is the stream we're doing tonight the war zone with subscribers. So, I'm just going to update these dates with uh, the relevant information and save it. But, yeah, that's how I do my templates. Good evening. It is, it's 10 to 10 and I'm actually about to go live, live streaming. So here we have the setup. We're doing some Warzone with subscribers and this is my light setup for the streams. Um, I've got my, I've got one of the big lights on and then down here we've got a softer orange light uh, just to sort of soften up the stream. So yeah, I'm about to go live. These live streams are really cool. I live stream for about three hours, uh, 10 o'clock UK time in the evening to about one in the morning. And uh, yeah, I have a really good time. These guys have a really good time. It's, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's just a really good time. So get to play some Call of Duty uh, whilst chatting and hanging out with you guys, which sounds pretty win-win. So yeah, it's, uh, we're getting ready to go live. Last minute checks. Invariably, there's always difficulties when we start. But I'll see you at the end of the stream because this is the last thing we do uh, in a 
day as an ASMR tease. Uh, I'll see you at the end of the stream where I'll bid you guys a good evening and a good night. Wish me luck. See you all in a 